Hi, I'm Isabel from the Upcoming. Lovely to meet you today and congratulations on this fantastic film, The Nature of Love. Can you tell audiences what they can expect when they watch this? Um, well, this is a love story. I would say a melancholic comedy. Um, so it's uh, it's about Sofia, who's a philosophy professor who's turning uh, for 40, and she has a relationship from ter 10 years with his with her partner Xavier, and they don't have any children, but they buy a country house, and the day she, they have to meet the entrepreneur for the work, uh, he can come. So she goes by herself, and she meets. Um, Sylvain, and she's going to madly fall in passionate love with this guy. So the, she's going to throw everything to, to pursue this, um, this um, provocative, uh, passionate love story. <laughs> and what inspired you to tell this story? I started to write this film um, a few years ago. I think it was like six years ago. And I mean, first of all, there's not so much love stories that's, that has been tell in my uh, nation uh, in French Canadian film uh, so I thought it would be interesting to explore that um, that genre and also because I was myself um, questioning um, a lot about like what is a couple what it means uh, is is a do you have to be uh, in like what is love uh, is desire is love is passion is love is uh, uh, do you do you have to be de to desire someone to be in love with so all those questions was like uh, popping in my mind and, and I had this idea of um, telling the story and can you tell us about the casting process and what it was like to work with your leads. Yeah. Uh, Magali Leplomondo, the main character, the main actress uh, who plays Sofia, the main character. Uh, she's a well-known actress in in, uh, in Quebec, in in Canada, and she's um, she's brilliant. Um, I had to find someone. I mean, she's also my best friend, I would say, but uh, it's not be because of that that I chose her. It's because she has um, this. Um, she's she could easily, in my mind, being this uh, um, hero, like um, lo uh, like romantic hero uh, because she's very beautiful and sensual and 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 she has this quality of um of sensitivity and 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 she's also very brilliant and and, and profound so i would uh, see her as a philosophy professor so uh, she had this like this quality to merge uh well this this character um and, and Pierre-Yves Cardinal is known because he played in um, Tom at the Farm from uh, Xavier Dolan. He's a brilliant, also a brilliant actor. And I worked with him as, a, as an actress. We used to play a couple in a, in a series and I knew his, him, he's a really uh, good fellow to, to work with. He's, he's very um, respectful and, and easy. And for that type of role, when there's a, so much intimacy, I wanted someone very respectful for my actor my actress and and for the actors so I think it was a very good match for this film and I think it's quite original for you to bring a story a rom-com to screen where the actors are approaching 40 and childless as well so did that feel quite interesting to explore that kind of original aspect as well yeah um, I was thinking a lot of uh, a woman and a man from uh, Claude Lelouch um, I don't know if it's the title in English but I guess so an homme and femme uh, and with Jean-Louis Trintignant and it's a story about uh, two people who are ish 40 years old and I love this 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 uh, it's nice because it's different like the love when you turn 40 I mean it's nice that they have this passionate um, teenager relationship in a way, but also uh, I didn't want a toxic relationship in the film. In the film, and and I think the fact that they're 40, it changed a lot in their like the way they would approach their relationship. And yeah, it was it was important for me to. It's 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 not quiet, but there's something more mature in the way of like communicate their love for sure. And what do you think some of the key themes are that people will take away when they watch this film? Um, when I did this film, we were um, out of the pandemic, uh, and I wanted very uh, a film very sensual and and soft, and I wanted that that people get like touch each other in the film. Like the, there's of course all this like love and se se sensual scene, but also like uh, children going around and and people eating and and laughing and talking, and a lot of people in the same room. So I wanted something very like 
I wanted that the viewer w would like reconnect with that kind of life we used to have and be uh, happy to see that on screen. And and I wanted that people get, I mean, I want that people get, um, I, did it, I, I wanted something very soft, you know, really like, that people would be like, kind of like, just re relief and happy when they get out of the, the cinema and be like, a lot of people says to me, like, it gave me the, uh, I, I want to make love, like, after this sort of <laughs> film. So I'm like, it's a, it's a good thing. Like, it's a yeah, good thing. It's very romantic, isn't it? Yeah. It's very relatable and yeah. soft. Someone told me, like, that. oh, I want to fall in love again. Yeah. So. yeah, it does make you feel like that. It's a very, <laughs> very kind of innocent vibe yeah. to it as well. Very nice. Um, and what's it like for you to be here at the London Film Festival showing this film? And also, what's been the reaction to it so far, do you think? So my, my film is going to be a show tonight, so I don't know the reaction of British uh, people uh, on my film. Uh, we've been to Cannes Film Festival, uh, we presented the film for the first time, it was very cool, very nice. Um, um, and I'm really happy to be in London, for sure, because I love so much this city. And I've been there, uh, it's been a while that I've been in, in London. But And, and I'm also very uh, humbly... Uh, excited and 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 uh, very happy to be uh, chosen by the festival to to show my my film because it's a pretty important uh festival and we we got a distributor um here for the film so it's a uh, it's nice it's cool oh well, good luck with it <laughs> thank tonight. you so much i know it'll do really well thank you so much for speaking to us thank you thank you